to the award show that wins the most awards for stage dives. I think I counted six. This is the MTV VMA Review. Hey, this is Jess Paul of Wrecked Radio, and here we talk about music. I hope this award show counts. But overall, we did have some highlights and some lowlights of the evening, both of which I'm going to talk about, performances and awards. Some little things that tickled my fancy were seeing people like Emma Watson, Demi Lovato, and even the Gangnam Style guy. My mouth just hung open for like minutes. Also, the Lady Gaga Fame perfume commercial, as well as the Breaking Dawn trailer, was very intriguing. We also got to see a short Al Miauk tribute, and a lot of recognition for um, someone we talk about on Rep Radio sometimes, Mr. Frank Ocean. Now let's get right to the subject of performances, something that a lot of the fans are staying awake for. Rihanna opened up with a big gaudy display that was quite fun to watch, as well as a song that I, I have no idea what it is, kind of out of the loop. But she soon moved on to her hit, We Found Love, which is, okay, this is a song that I love, um, and I actually had to grow to love it, so it wasn't like, yeah, this is catchy, and then you get sick of it. It was actually the opposite. Um, I care not about Rihanna. If you've watched any of my other reviews of any of the other award shows, you probably know that about me, that she's just n not somebody on my radar. But this song is something that I'm really in love with, and I'm kind of glad to see uh, it being performed and talked about a lot. Another like to find performance by a Fed Fed Tell Pop rocker came from Pink. She had a great display as well as she sang Blow Me One Last Kiss, which is another song that I can stand on pop radio. And I don't know if the looping in the beginning was staged, but it was a really nice touch. And um, she she flew herself over, as she knows how to do, to the other stage. And they had the best costume slash props I can, I can think of to date. They were these giant Rocky Horror um, lips that shot confetti. Um, ending with Pink sitting in one of them. Um, fabulous? I don't know how else to describe that. But probably one of the most notable and a performance that had Twitter alight was Frank Ocean's um, very emotional performance of Thinking of You. This was a very intimate performance and it came in light of um, him recently coming out of the closet in a way that one of these songs um, or, or, or few of these songs were written about a man. From what I saw, from what I heard, and even uh, what was displayed there at the show itself, there was a lot of positivity about um, Frank's decision, and the performance really held up. Uh, and I think that we got a lot from it, knowing where that special place was that it came from. And this is Rec Radio Rock News. We cannot talk about Green Day. The punk fan did an excitable performance of Let Yourself Go as they invited a giant mob onto their stage area um, and were pretty much piled on by fans that could barely play their instruments at some point. It was awesome. Some of the performances that wrapped up the night included Alicia Keys uh, and Nicki Minaj's featuring Nicki Minaj Girl on Fire, which is, uh, it was okay. Um, one thing I liked about it was they got Gabby on the stage uh, to do her Olympics. She's one of the uh, She's to do her Olympics, to do her gymnastics. She's one of the Olympic Fab Five girls that went um, and had a fun time. And finally, the last performance I love to talk about was Taylor Swift's We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. Um, that's an adorable song. I <laughs> don't know how I've been missing it on the radio. I've probably heard it once on the radio, which is weird. Um, but it was an adorable, perform adorable performance. They, uh, had dancers that were really dressed like normal girls. Um, it was really down to earth. It, the song itself has this very um, airy kind of in a lavender field kind of feel to it. That's that's the way I describe it. And um, I feel like I'm going to be attached to the song for a little while. I usually don't do that with Taylor Swift songs. I'm, I swear to God. Some notable awards to talk about were pop video, which uh, had in the running fun and uh, Rihanna's um, we found love, Fun's uh, We Are Young, which is a very notable song in the rock community, alternative community, pop punk community. Um, and I was really pulling for them to win something tonight, but One Direction took it home. Female video, something about me just loves watching Nicki Minaj win stuff. She's always so excited, and I feel like she was always the underdog, even though she totally isn't. She has every single hit on the radio, but um, 
but I love seeing her win. This was not an exception. The final VMA of the night, the video of the year, went to Rihanna. And that was kind of disappointing because my mom and I were watching the show and uh, we were like, where's Godier? Because he was he just shined this year. He came out of nowhere and just took everybody by surprise. He was nominated for that one and did not get it. Like I said, I do like Rihanna's song, but I would have been ecstatic to watch Gautier win. And some talk where the awards that were not on stage tonight included the Best Rock Video. That list includes Coldplay's Paradise, The Black Keys' Lonely Boy, Linkin Park Burn It Down, Jack White 16 Salt Teens, yes, and Imagine Dragons It's Time, and Coldplay won for Paradise. I would have I would have went with 16 Saltines. It wasn't that complicated a video, but I loved it. Uh, best video with a message, my girl, uh, I went to Demi Lovato, Skyscraper. Also in that running war gym class, here is a fighter, uh, and Kelly Clarkson Dark Side. I don't I don't know what that is. But some of the crummy things of the night, these are the lowlights. Um, best New Artist was a very exciting category for a lot of reasons. It included Fun, Frank Ocean, a lot of people's faves used Carly Rae Jepsen, and The Wanted. I didn't know who they were. Uh, they sang the song Glad You Came. And One Direction took that home with that, um, that stupid song about, you know, uh, that stupid song that they do. <laughs> Any one of those songs on that list, uh, We Are Young. Swim Good, which is one of my favorite all-time songs. Like, I know it's, it's not it's not that new, but it's I guess fairly new. I know, but really, I love that song. Um, any any of these songs are less annoying than the One Direction song, and also uh, Male Video. Chris Brown took that home, and I always I always do like to see Rihanna win over Chris Brown in any any kind of category. So you tell me, what were your favorite parts, what were your least favorite parts of the night? It actually wasn't as long as some um, shows seemed to be, which was great, because I hate sitting and watching really long shows that go into midnight and they're just completely boring. But I'd love to hear what you think. Thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't seen Rec Radio this week, it's worth a check to see what your favorite rock uh, alternative and sometimes pop artists are up to. Okay, peace, love, rock and roll.